things aren't the same as they once were. And it turns out, I have a mustache. Hi, beauty queens. It's Ashley Sue. Welcome to my channel and my awkwardness. Oh, there's a little bit of awkwardness and chaos happening here. Coffee's good for the soul. Today is about shaving my face and you have no idea how much I've wanted to do this video. I bought my first like magnifying mirror this year and I turned the light on and I'm like looking at my pores and I think a very Charlotte from Sex and the City moment. Having a tweezing moment, life's good. Like I move and the light hits and I see the dreaded mustache. Don't want a goatee, don't want a mustache. And I can't see it like with a non-magnifying mirror. With the magnifying mirror, I could actually see a few little black or dark brown or something here. Horrible, not good. So a couple weeks ago, I decided to actually use some Sally Hansen. Heat it up between your hands, stick it on, wax it off. I was smart enough to do it like on a Thursday night when I knew I had no plans. I didn't really get the hair off my face very well. It very much took the skin off of my face very well. Thick, dark scabbiness. And one of my friends actually sent me a link to these little like shavers. Instead of like easing you guys into it, 37, I'm headed toward 38 quickly, which means I feel like I'm 40. So we're gonna try to shave. So for about $3 each, I was able to get two different brands from TJ Maxx, Bella Beauty and Stella Beauty. That's weird. Three pack eyebrow razor set. Will not be using them on my eyebrows. Facial hair is a really weird thing, by the way. We want hair to be coming out of our eyeballs as long and curly and bountiful as possible. Bushy eyebrows are having a heck of a moment. Then there's the 90s eyebrows. Please come back because some of us don't have a choice. So we kind of are in a non-win situation with facial hair. And there's like a feminist in me who's kind of like, why do we care if women have hair on their face? Why is this a deal? I don't know, but it is. And it is for me. I'm not gonna judge a woman who I see who has hair on her face but I don't want it on mine. It's not a look I'm going for, so I'm gonna try to get it off. And this is gonna happen. In a minute, I'm gonna put on a lens to pull you a little closer to me. Whatever, I'm, you're about to watch me shave. I think first I'm gonna try, one of these does not say stainless steel, and that kind of bothers me. They're both made in China. First, we're gonna try the Stella brand. The Stella brand also has the little, um, protective thing on, similar to the Walmart ones. The Walmart ones were teeny there. Let's do this. There's so much peach fuzz on my face. So, hi shadows. You gotta be really careful with these. I don't know how much you can see. So this is so weird that I'm doing this. Do you go with the grain or against the grain? I'm like pushing my lip out with my tongue, which I'm sure is super gorgeous on camera. Um, I think I've watched my husband do that when he used to shave. He's a bearded hipster now, so. This is a lot less exciting on camera than I thought it would be. Oh, there's a lot of baby hair on here. Can you see that? Like, can you see there's all this little baby baby hairs on this? Got to get the mutton chops off. Can you guys see that like accumulation of all that like little fur? This is so weird. As a woman, if you nick yourself shaving, you know how men always put like the little dots of um, tissue paper on their face? As a woman, what would you do? And how would you explain that when somebody's like, what happened to your face? I shave. B careful because you are working with a razor. This may not be quite the same as like working with a straight edge razor. It is still a razor. If it can cut your hair with movement, it can cut your skin. So 
Heed the caution. I've never felt prettier. Feels good. Well, hmm. Okay, so I just got done. I think I mostly chose this one because it says stainless steel on it. I'm going to go ahead and throw this one away. I just shaved like my entire Fred Flintstone section of my face with it and my face stings a bit. If you have super dry skin the way that I do, this is a blessing and a curse. It helps exfoliate some of the dead skin cells. Just like when you shave your legs, it really might further irritate your skin and dry it out more. But I'm going to pamper my face for a day or two. It burns. It feels soft though. Now this whole thing is going in the trash. I can say for sure this brand, Stella, is cheap. If I am tossing this right now after one use, and I am, because just like you don't want to use a dull razor on your legs. It's more apt to cut your skin. You don't want to use a dull razor on your face, but the quality is cheap. It just, again, if I'm going to like shave once and it's immediately dull and it kind of pulls on the peach fuzz on your face, my face burns. I'm going to go get some more coffee and hydrate myself. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you have tips, please be nice. Feel free to subscribe. I would love that more than I can say, but if I bore you to death, don't bother. So you can also find me on Instagram and Twitter. I'm um, other places as well, but those are the places where you're most likely to be able to catch up with me and actually have a little bit of a conversation. If you have a YouTube station and you want me to check it out, please leave a comment and let me know. Throw me a wave on Instagram or Twitter. And I hope that you have a really blessed week, beauty queens. I'll see you around. Bye, beauty queens.